No worries. I have a holiday project. This is a, a triple easel card that I have sitting out on my coffee table for holiday decorations and it's a fun little card. You can do this with any shape. I just chose uh, pumpkins for this season so um, to get the basic pumpkin design I just did like Susan did. I, I went online and I went to Google and I typed in pumpkin silhouette and then click on images and scroll till I find what I wanted and this is the one I want so I just click on it right click and a copy image so then I can go back in to make the cut to a new page click on pixel trace paste and import pretty quick and simple well I also need pumpkin leaves so I do the same thing I'm going to close out of what I did and just instead of pumpkin silhouette I'm going to well, I'm going to look for pumpkin leaves silhouette. So then I click on the images and scroll down till I find what I want. This one looks fine. Well, this one's very similar. That would do. I think this is the one that I used. So I just uh, right click, copy image, and again come in to make the cut, pixel trace paste and import finish tracing and you notice I have the reverse here so if you ever get the reverse you can use the layer tool which is one two three four five six from the left to remove the back layer and that gives you the the shape so I use this leaf and this pumpkin though I did modify this leaf a little I rotated it till I got it pretty straight here and I didn't need the top half so to get rid of the top half of that design let me turn this on green here I just used a square type in SQ and drag the square over the part that I don't want. Just cover it up and I can adjust it to be where I need it to be. Select both and then I use boolean join. Seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth icon from the right and use B minus A difference and apply. So now I have the top cut off so that it will fit over the pumpkin. Now I'm going to resize this pumpkin to 5.667 just because when I finished it that's the size it ended up being. What I did, I'll show you the picture here, um, I wanted the the design to fill my cards so as I you see here I resize this to be mostly just almost 12 inches it turned out to be 11.7181 inches so uh, I made it as big as I could make it and that's what the size ended up being you could make it any size that you want so on my new page here I'm going to resize this pumpkin and I think I'll change a color to that um, orange. Just click on the color on the layer over on the right and to resize I'll leave the gold lock icon on and type in 5.667 and press enter. So that gives me the size of the pumpkin, my largest pumpkin that I want to use and I'm going to send this leaf to its own layer and make it green and now I'll just kind of drag it over here to see if it fits and if it doesn't I can resize it using the resizing arrows 
but I also don't want it to be too long because it needs to be at the top of the top of the design. Now if making the top kind of needs to be shorter than the bottom, I can actually adjust the bottom keeping the top the same by clicking a couple times to get these distortion handles and I can move the bottom pieces out while keeping the top pretty stationary and you can adjust the position as you like. That's a nice piece about designing as you can make the design do what you want it to do. So you can play with it to get it about what you want for your your project. And then once you have that, then uh, the, the next thing I need to do is make me a copy of this I hold control shift and click and bring it over here. The reason that I um, made a copy is I want to have uh, a different color for this stem and I also want to use the, the bottom of it for something else. So I'm going to divide it in half. To divide it in half I'll just use this eraser tool on the left. If you don't see the left toolbar click on this figure 8 at the top and click on the eraser tool and I just want to use a 0.25 millimeter, very small eraser. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to hold a control key to keep it straight and just drag through the stem where I want to cut it. Now I can just click on it and split. So now I have this piece of the pumpkin and I have the stem top so I'm going to send the stem to the top and change it to a brown and I'm going to use this part of the pumpkin to make a lacy edge or a scalloped edge I'll show you the picture here so that there's scallops around it you don't have to have scallops on yours but I thought it would be a nice nice touch to add those. To make scallops I'm going to grab a circle from Basic Shapes CI gives me the circle, double click and I'll resize that to a half inch 0 .5 enter and I'm just going to wrap this around to get the wrap window. You hold the control key you drag the shape smaller shape over the larger shape till the cursor changes to the triangle circle and square and release the mouse and you get a wrap but oh it starts wrapping to the inside if that ever happens to you there's an easy fix for that what I do is I click on this and since I don't really need this uh, shape to have those holes in it I'm going to click on the blackout and that gets rid of all the holes there are other ways to deal with it if I wanted to keep those but I don't really need them anyway I'm going to hold the control key again, drag and now the wrap objects to path window opens it remembers the last setting that I used you can repeat the count till you get to where you want it I don't need these to go all the way around because I'm going to put the stem there so I chose a count of 32 it fits pretty good. Um, I've got the alignment, vertical alignment, just over half, 53, and um, zero spacing so that they're overlapping. And then I can click on accept. And I can weld the paths together. Doesn't matter because I'm going to be, I'll send this orange to the top, this orange piece. And now I'll select the scallops and the pumpkin and weld these together so that now I have a nice scalloped bottom and I have a stem on top and that gives me a lacy kind of background that I can use. So I'm going to change this color to a little, little darker just to, uh, for visual effect here. And I want to make sure that it will fit 
So now I can move it to the bottom and lay it over there. So it looks pretty good and I I have my my stem on top. And once I get my pumpkin the way that I want it, I'm going to make a copy of this pumpkin for resizing. Do control shift and drag so that I have an extra one because now what I want to do is is make the card and to do the card I'm going to need an extra one of these little stems here I'm going to click it and hold shift and click on my scalloped pumpkin well first I'm going to I've got a copy over there so I'll click on the the stem and the scallop and I'm going to weld this and um, we'll change the color back and move it to the bottom move there to the bottom so now I have a stem and and the card shape what I need to do is create the top part of the card I'm going to get rid of the little holes in that by just clicking on the blackout. Couldn't see that too well, but um, now there's no holes in it to worry about. And I want to hold the shift, control shift, click, and then flip it with the third icon on the left. So then I can move it up here so that they just barely overlap, but I want to make sure that they're aligned right so I'm going to hold a shift and select both of them and just type L to align them to the left and they are overlapping you can go to outline to see that they're just slightly overlapping and that's good so I can weld them together and now I have a front and back of a card and I can also see pretty well you know put that on the middle line the middle of the design and then I can add a score line. I'm going to get rid of the extra layers, add a new layer. So I've got the new layer selected. I click on my pen tool and left click here and right click here. It's not very straight. I'm going to undo it and I'll give it a snapping of an inch just so that it goes straight easily. Left click and Oh, doesn't want an inch. Left click and right click. I take the snapping off. At least I know it's straight now. And I can adjust the end point over a little bit. Left click and then drag. So I have my little score line there. It's not very big, but I can make it dashed. Now um, I'll go back to my fill outline. So I have my card and I'm going to click on the selection tool, grab my pumpkin and see how it's going to look here. Make sure the size fits well. I, I need to have this piece definitely fit on my 12 inch paper and if it doesn't then if I select all of it I can always make another one here. Oops, I don't want to get rid of that yet because I really need this piece. And I'll resize this so that it's not higher than 12 here. Maybe I'll make this back to 11.7. That would be fine. So now I have my starting shape here and I'm ready to make two more that are smaller. But I also want to need to have an extra copy of the pieces here because these pieces will go on the base of my card. And then I need it I also need an extra um, one to decorate the flap 
and I'll show you that here. So we have um, the card which is duplicated. It folds up and then it folds down about two inches and then the separate piece is glued on to the two inch fold here and I do that for each of these different layers. They're, they're successively smaller but I have here one, two, three pumpkins but this fourth one is the same size as the third one lays down on the bottom to decorate the, the flat part of the base of the card. So um, that's why I need four. Now the other thing that you might want to do is you might want to create an extra lace piece here to back up the pumpkins because as you see here my flap folded down and the scallops end halfway up. So if you wanted your scallops to go all the way up you would make an extra scallop layer. For example here I would do control shift and I probably would have done that before I welded the stem to it so I could just make another one by just again getting my little tool here and cutting it off splitting and deleting so that I could use this as an extra decoration for the extra little pumpkin that I need here. So I'll do control shift and drag and bring it right over here like that. So I'll go back to the page I was on here and take this copy control C control shift V so now I have an extra one of these if you if you want to send it to its own layer then move layer to the bottom this can be the decoration on the face of the card now what I want to do is is uh, capture this so that I can copy all of these and resize them down for the next size. I didn't draw these lines yet. Hmm. Okay. And I already have a copy of this one. What I want to do is take a copy of the entire thing, drag it over here, and then resize it. I'm going to resize it to about 10 inches. Mine measured 10.2, 10.2065. So I'll just type in the new, new size, 10.2065, and enter so that I have a, the second smaller one here. And then I have the third smallest one here. I'll control shift and drag. Move this one out of the way. And we'll resize this one to 8.7782. You can put whatever size you want. 87782, enter. So that now I have three different sizes of cards along with the extra front. So um, I have three extra pieces that would go on these for ornaments, and I'll just drag the extra pieces down here because these will be glued on to the, the cards. And I want you to be able to see the pieces.
like that. So we have the cards here and I'm lining up the little score lines. You can I think the score lines disappear, but that's okay because I need to I'm gonna get rid of them and redo them anyway. Now in addition to the center score lines, we're gonna put a score line about two inches down from the top of this card so that it will fold down. And then this group of uh, pieces will be layered together and glued together. Then you would just glue the back, the bottom half of the, the back of this to your folded down card as an easel. So um, this one is going to be glued here on the bottom. And what you do for a stopper is you is you put a score line right across here and fold this up as a stopper. So when you you put a score line on this one about two inches, and I'll use a snapping and left click here and right click over here. That'll be my score line. So this flat will fold down and the bottom pumpkin here will glue on the front half of it. And then the, the bottom piece of this pumpkin will sit on the edge. So I'll show you the picture again. So you see the green leaf on the bottom pumpkin has been folded up and it serves as a stop for the smallest pumpkin. The back pumpkin will actually latch under the card in front of it and this one latches under the stem of the, the card that's in front of it. 